Champ Card, brought to you by Briggs and Stratton and the LS206 engine. Also by Drink Water. Champions don't drink energy drinks, they drink water. Here we are at beautiful Goodwood Cardways in Ontario, just about a half hour northeast of Markham. On pole, Kyle Herter. Oh, he's done a few laps on this track. And outside pole, last year's Canadian champion, Jean-Francois Lafontaine. This should be a very exciting and tight race. Kyle Edgar, who was very strong last year, look at him to do very well. Right next to him on the outside of row two, Chad Campbell in cart number 774. Simon Belanger, relative newcomer to karting, is going to be starting on the inside of row three and outside of row three, Ryan Mohan. Zach Bohm, the GP racing card will be on your fourth row, outside of fourth row, Pierce Herner, brother of Kyle. They know this track, trust me, they've been doing lots of laps since they were young kids. Jonathan Treadwell is in P9, and P10 rounding out your top five rows is Alexander Murphy, who last year raced in Rotax Junior, and is this year is in the break senior. Ryan Brutsky will be racing, will be starting on the sixth row, and way back in P22 is Alexandre Couturier. They decided to be a little experimental with chassis, did not quite work out for them. One minute to go, beautiful smile from one of our officials here as the drivers start their engines and get ready for the pace lap here of the Briggs and Stratton Senior Final. This is round one of the Eastern Canadian Karting Championships. Beautiful sunny day, should be perfect for racing, not too hot, just warm enough for the tires and the asphalt to work in sync this is going to be a 16 lap final as the drivers head on to the track for the first pace lap the DeLeo family has put a lot of effort and energy into bringing back Goodwood one of the oldest karting tracks in all of Canada so much history at this track we're very fortunate and blessed to be able to still race at Goodwood and th that's thanks to the DeLeo family. Here we see our top 14 drivers on the false grid. Pierce Herter, brother of Kyle, will be starting in eighth. Charlotte Lalone will be in 18th place. Very beautiful young lady. Our first lady in today's Briggs and Stratton senior in 19. That was Jessica, I believe. Looks like we have a little bit of confusion here on the formation lap, but all these experienced drivers at the front will sort it out amongst themselves. Here we go. This is the last hairpin at the bottom of Goodwood as they head up towards the final corner before the start finish. And will we have a green flag? They look well aligned to me. Oh, there's somebody carrying a piece of bodywork with them. That's, that's never a good sign when you're about to start a race and you got your nose pot in your lap. I guess he'll have to come into the pits. Here we go, green flag given from our marshals, and oh, that's a poor start by Jean-Francois Lafontaine as he gets cut up on the outside. That's Kyle Herter, Kyle Edgar. One and two, Lafontaine is now dropped back to fourth. I think that's Simon Belanger in P3. That was a terrible start by Lafontaine. Can he squeeze back into fourth? Yeah, I think he's managed to save into fourth. Lost the cut, oh, Pierce Herter is now off track and in this Briggs and Stratton final, being so competitive, that'll be the end of his racing day. Kyle and Kyle, one and two. That is Herder and Edgar leading the race. Simon Belanger is in third, and Jean-Francois Lafontaine is in fourth. Ryan Mohan in the Praga cart is in fifth, and Chad Campbell is now in sixth place in the GP cart. Nose to tail, nose to tail, our top four. Drafting is so important here on this very twisty circuit. Key here at driving a good one is getting out of the hairpins. You don't want your card sticking too much where you can't. Oh, we have Michel de la Plante, who is now in the grass with lots of dust everywhere. That is never a good sign by the time his tires clean up. Chances are his race will be done. Back to our leaders, La Fontaine dives on the inside as Simon Pelagé. And that was a nice pass because he was able to pull himself 
out of out of that hill there's a there, there's a second last corner there's a hairpin that goes up a hill very key to get out of that corner quickly if you're going to be competitive here we still have the Kyles going at it one and two that's Herder and Edgar and Lafontaine and Belanger catching up and in fifth place Ryan Mohan and Chan Campbell round out your top six here we go nose to tail nose to tail with Lafontaine and Belanger now catching your leaders, it looks like we have a train. This is the beauty of this Briggs and Stratton class. Very evenly matched engines, very evenly matched horsepower. A very reliable, this LS206 kart racing engine. Our top three may be pulling away ever so slightly, but as soon as the train effect comes in down the straightaway, the rest of the field. Oh, it looks like Kyle Edgar says, I'm tired of following you, Kyle. He goes into the lead as Lafontaine follows right behind. In the blink of an eye, Kyle Herter is now in third place. Oh, Simon Belanger dives in on Kyle Herter. Now he gets some dust on his tires. Where are you going, Kyle? Kyle is now in fourth or fifth place. Oh, he's managed to hold on to his fourth place. And we got Ryan Mohan in fifth and Chad Campbell. Oh, Jonathan Treadwell of Game Kick Cards had a little bit of an incident there. That's our battle for 15 and six between Mohan and Chad Campbell. Kyle Edgar is your leader. With that audacious pass going into corner one as Jean-Francois Lafontaine followed closely. Chad Campbell is now up into fifth place as he gets by Ryan Mohan. That's a battle between the GP and Praga drivers. Oh, it looks like Kyle Edgar and Jean-Francois Lafontaine have pulled away ever so slightly from this field. So hard to do on such a tight track with such evenly matched equipment. But I believe Simo and Kyle Herter have been battling, which may have allowed the top two to pull away ever so slightly. Your leader, Kyle Edgar. Oh, he seems to point Jean-Francois Lafontaine by. Very smart move by Kyle Edgar. Figures, hey, we'll work together, pull away from the rest of the field, and then we'll battle this out. We'll be heading to a short break to the conclusion of this race here at beautiful Goodwood Cartways. Back to action here in the webcast here of the Briggs and Stratton Stream Senior Finals. Jean-Francois Lafontaine, Kyle Edgar working together, trying to pull away from the rest of the field. They seem to both be running Burrell Karts. I think I got that right, and they're gonna try and work together and pull away from Simon Belanger and Kyle Herter. I think Belanger and Herter have decided, you know, maybe we're gonna try and work together and see if we can't catch those two at the front. Oh, you see a little bit of a mistake by Simon Belanger in that hairpin. He opened up the door for Kyle Herter. Kyle says, listen, man, I wanna follow you and go get the leaders, but you can't be making mistakes like this or I'm gonna dive on the inside. Herter has so much racing experience. His dad, his brothers have been involved in karting for over 25 years. So many national championships in that family. Your leader still, Jean-Francois Lafontaine, last year's Canadian champion in the Briggs and Stratton. In third place, Simon Bélanger is followed still closely by Kyle Herter. That was the last lap, last lap. Now, Kyle Edgar and Jean-Francois Lafontaine can battle it out. This is what they wanted. They wanted to pull away from the rest of the field. Kyle Herter dives on the inside of Simon Belanger. Simon was making a few mistakes or maybe just doesn't quite got his cart handling the way he would want to. Kyle Herter is now into third place. Simon Belanger first. That's Ryan Moan who makes it into fifth. Him and Chad Campbell have been battling that all race long. For the time being, that's Ryan Mohan in fifth and Chad Campbell in sixth with a bunch of other people. Kyle Edgar and Lafontaine side by side. Oh, Lafontaine tries to squeeze Edgar into the grass. Edgar, Lafontaine, photo finish, photo finish. We're not sure who won this race. Kyle Herter is in P3 and that's Simon Belanger in fourth place. And Ryan Mohan does pick up fifth spot. We're gonna see a replay here. See if we can figure out exactly who crossed the line first. Looks like Lafontaine a little bit, a uh, little bit wide as he uh, pushes, or I, I'll say as he guides Edgar a little bit onto the grass, side by side, side by side. Oh, I think it's Lafontaine by a fraction. There it is, it's official, your winner, Jean-Francois Lafontaine. Kyle Edgar in second, Kyle Herter in third, Simon Belanger fourth. And yes, Ryan Mohan did end up in front of Chad Campbell. So that rounds out your top six this was a very exciting first race of the season. In eighth place, 
Matthew, Radelli, Zach Bohm, Jonathan Treadwell, Alexander Murphy, his first race. Charlotte Lalonde drove a nice race to finish in 12. Remember, she was starting way back near 20th position. As the drivers head to the way scale, Tom Kadzia, 15, Mike Smith, 16, Christopher Brogetto, and 17. Coming up in a few instants, our podium celebrations. Very exciting start to the Briggs and Stratton senior file. There's uh, Daniello Delello who will be doing the master ceremonies. And our third place winner, Kyle Herter. I think this is not the first time he's been on a podium here at Goodwin. Getting a bit up there in the age, but still looks very good. In second place, a battle to the finish with Jean-Francois Lafontaine. Photo finish, second place, that's Kyle Edgar. Superb drive by Kyle, or Kyle and Kyle, as we say. And your winner, last year's Canadian champ, future engineer, Jean-Francois Lafontaine being handed the trophy for first place. And there you have it, a very exciting start to the Briggs and Stratton senior season here at the Eastern Canadian Karting Champion. Champ Card was brought to you by Briggs and Stratton and the LS206 Kart Racing Engine. Also brought to you by Drink Water. Real athletes don't drink energy drinks, they drink water. I'm Norm Trotze. hope you enjoyed today's webcast of the first round of the Eastern Canadian Karting Championships from beautiful Goodway Cardways. I'll be saying so long for now, and hope to see you at our next webcast of the Briggs and Stratton Senior Final.